Hey, so we oh, were not very good at planning this morning um, and we had no food in the house. So we are heading to the corner grocery store um, and going to pick up some things for our pre-workout breakfast, which we are going to do healthy version of what are breakfast burritos. So let's see what we can find. So we're back from the store and we picked up some lower carb whole wheat tortillas. So when you're looking at the nutrition facts, pay attention to how much fiber versus how many carbs there are. So essentially what you can do is take your total grams of carbs and subtract the grams of fiber to get your total net carbs which means essentially the amount of carbs that your body is able to use. With eight grams of carbs, we can have a couple tortillas with our breakfast burritos. And then we have these Morning Star sausage patties. And as you can see, the numbers on these, pretty good. Better option for our breakfast burritos. And then found some black beans. These are organic black beans. And then of course some egg whites, some whole eggs. So I'm gonna start with cooking these up first. Oh, muscles, oh, so strong, going on the wrong strength. Oh, so I'm just gonna cook all of these up. We have never done this recipe before, so will be an experiment. We have no idea what it's gonna be like. So just give it a try. So we will let those cook. Okay, so I'm gonna show you super simple drink, but this is like, right now, my all-time favorite drink. And I love adding lemons to my water. Um, so I'm going to show you guys this, but I'm gonna cut these up first. And fresh lemon is the best, especially for you know all of the benefits of lemon that you can um, have. It's much better to get the fresh lemons than the little lemon containers with the juice in it. Lemons help balance pH levels, boost immune system, helps with detoxification, aids in weight loss, and even helps clear skin. Now these have seeds in it, so before you add it to your drink, pick the seeds out. Okay, I even went out and bought a cup. This is my lemonade cup. I don't taste better in this cup, I'm just telling you. So, ice. So ice. Oops. My pink lemonade. Super top secret, let me show you. Oh yeah. Walmart, great value. You can get the crystal light kind too, but this one is pink lemonade. So they come in these packets. I do, for this size jug, this is a pretty big jug, I do two and I fill it all the way up. So then, what I'm gonna do, I love lemons, so I'm gonna pick out these little seeds. I don't know if you can see those there. I have not picked the seeds out in the past and then I end up drinking it and they will suck up through the straw and I've like almost choked on the seeds. So then I just take over the ice, oh, don't drop it. <laughs> take it over the ice and then squeeze all the juice out. And then I actually throw the peel in there and that was a pretty big one, 
but I really like the lemon a lot. So I'm gonna do two, okay? So, lemon, water. Pour this over top and it'll mix the juice and it makes it super, super cold. Straws always make drinks taste better. This is amazing. It's really good. So now I'm just taking this. Um, actually, this is like a mix and chop or something. I think by Pampered Chef. And I am going to break up all of the sausage. Now we're going to add some of the organic black beans. I'm going to do one whole egg. I like um, the healthy fats. First, let's measure out two cups. So I get these egg whites at Costco. Super cheap. Out in Hawaii, things are pretty expensive. If I go get one of these at the store, they can be like seven or eight bucks for the, you know, the double size. Um, but for eight bucks I can get six of these at Costco. So essentially one of those and then I'm going to add a whole egg. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't get any um, shell in there. And then just mix that up. And for next time, I would totally just break the yolk first since I know that essentially one of these is two cups, the amount I need. Right. Spread that out. Turn the heat back up because I had it on low heat when I was cooking the beans in it. So now I'm turning it back up to medium heat. Not too high because you don't want it to burn, but we're gonna let this cook up. Okay, so I'm gonna add some pepper, just regular pepper. I'd love to get one of those fresh pepper grinders, but for now this is what I have. And then I love this. If you follow my snaps or know me at all, I love pink salt. There's a ton of benefits to pink salt versus white salt. This actually helps keep your body hydrated, believe it or not, and there's tons of amazing benefits of pink salt. It helps with preventing muscle cramping, increases hydration, improves circulation, creates an electrolyte balance, and aids in proper metabolism function. I use this grinder. Just gonna add a little bit for flavor. And you can see it's cooking up really well, and I'm just gonna start scrambling it up. Some burn. It smells amazing. And it's good for you. Healthy food does not have to taste bad, I promise. Trust me, I love food, so if healthy food tasted bad, <laughs> I don't think I could do it. That is almost done. What? Whoa, check these out. These actually smell like regular tortillas. Mmm, carbs. Okay. So let's do one at a time. Shall we? Okay. 
This actually is like the perfect amount, honestly. I wasn't really sure because like I said, this is our first time making this. But that's pretty good. What do you think about that? Pretty good? Yep. Okay. And then we'll do another one. And when you are eating the right foods, you can eat more of the good stuff. So, if you like food, I hear all the time, I like food way too much. I'm like, hey, I love food, I love to eat, but I get to eat more of the good stuff. Especially since after this we are gonna go work out, so we are gonna put this to good use, make some gains. So I get this salsa from Costco. I get a lot of my stuff from Costco. This is actually organic salsa. And I add this to a lot of stuff, but specifically my eggs. Ooh, this smells so good. Voila. Breakfast of champions. Hey guys, so we just got to Barnes and Noble and the article came out, yay! So excited, it's so crazy to see. Hey, so here it is, finally, I'm so excited. You can pick it up at Barnes & Noble, that's where we are right now, page 91. Always sip it on my lemonade. I just recently picked up this. This magazine represents a lot for me and my journey. I have always loved Oxygen Magazine since long before I ever even dreamed of being in the fitness industry, let alone having a fit body. I was active as a kid and as a teenager, um, and then as I was reaching tw my early 20s, uh, I started getting away from being active as I started going to college, um, and I was eating, I, I moved out, and, and I was eating poorly. And I was taking full advantage of the long road of fast food that was very close to my apartment. So I'd get done with work, I worked second shift, I would get done with work, and on the way home I would pick up something for Burger King or McDonald's or whatever I happened to be craving that night, and I would eat it at 10.30 and go to bed. <laughs> so I've changed a lot in the way I live my life, um, but Back during that time, I was still, I would see this magazine in the store and I was like, oh my gosh, these girls are so inspiring. I just, I couldn't imagine even having abs. That was always a dream, a goal of mine. Even when I was in high school, I just wanted abs so bad. Um, but I, I really thought it was more of a genetic thing. I thought, well, unfortunately, I wasn't born with those genetics. Even though I was thinner when I was younger, I never really had abs, um, and so I thought it just wasn't possible. Fast forward to 2013, I got into the fitness industry by just jumping right into a comp prepping for a bikini competition. I had never seen a bikini competition. I had never, I had no, I had no idea what it was, to be honest with you. My friend who, she had competed in a figure competition a few years before, I, I remember seeing pictures online of her competition and I just it blew my mind and I thought it was just the coolest thing I had ever seen and I was like okay I don't know what this is but I want to train for this um, so we started going to the gym and working out and um, I guess I don't want to go on a huge long rant about my entire story I can save that for another journey or for another vlog but I want to talk about what this rep this magazine represents to me. Um, 
it really shows me that and I'm I wanted to show you guys too that even something that I thought was just in my wildest dreams actually I started out not even thinking that that was something even attainable or possible in the slightest to even be in a magazine have a body like that just be healthy um, and never let my mind wander down that road to thinking this could be me someday. Um, it was a slow process of starting to believe in myself, um, but looking at this magazine and um, seeing my story in there is just unreal. I can't even believe that it's happened because it's a dream that has been realized and it actually it inspires me and it motivates me even more to try to spread my story to you guys so that you guys can see and realize along with me that if you want something and if you work hard and if you never give up and you believe in yourself and you're having fun while you do it that someday your dream your oxygen magazine can happen if I could have you guys take one thing from this experience for me it's that anything that you want, anything that you dream about, any goals you have, it is so possible. I wish that it was as easy as just for me to tell you that it was possible. As humans, sometimes we truly fully believe things until we've been through it ourselves. But I hope that by spreading a positive message and a story and letting you guys know that no matter you, what you have going on in your life, what you're struggling with, um, what hurdles you have to overcome, your dreams and your goals can happen. They can be realized. They can be reality. I know we all have goals and dreams, so that's the easy part. Step two, make a plan. And step three, follow through. And even if you fall off the wagon, if you stop for a little bit, if you get sidetracked, pick up, pick, pick yourself back up, start again and keep going because it is possible and you can do it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to wrap this vlog up now. I'm hoping to be posting pretty regularly. I have some behind the scenes footage from my video shoot out at the Lanakai pillboxes, which should be in video two. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Uh, like, and subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Check the description below to find out all the ways you can connect with me on social media. If you like this video, help out my channel by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see when all the latest videos come out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.